fish on fire. Thanks everybody for coming out that is here right now. I know a lot of people are running late. Um, I got a I got a really special special guest tonight. I got a returning Orlando Predator, offensive lineman. Mr. Freddy Poole. You can't see it right there right now because the, it, it, the feed is like a 20 second delay. But we're all good, we're all good. Um, what I like to do, I like to tell everybody how we how we roll here on Crud Dog. We're very, very laid back. We're very, I'm not gonna make you cry like Roy Firestone or none of that stuff. I just don't do it like that. But we're, we like to do what they didn't do in the 2019 season. A lot of the fans out there didn't get to know the players. I mean, they got to meet you after the game, down on the field, sign an autograph, and then move on. Well, what I've been trying to do here is so everybody can get to know who Freddie Booth is. You know, uh, and that way when the game is over and they come down on the field and get your autograph, they go like, I saw you on a talk, or I know about you, you went to such and such a school, you know, so did I, or, you know, or whatever the case may be. But, so Freddie, tell me a little bit about yourself. Where are you from? Uh, from Coquille, Florida, about 45 minutes away from Orlando. So you grew up, you're from Coco? Yeah, I'm from Coco. Born and raised out Born and raised. Yeah. Awesome, so you went to high school over in Coco? Yeah, I went to Coco High School. Yeah. Home of the Tigers, yes sir. Home of the Tigers. I don't know about that. <laughs> College? Yeah. College, I went to Temple University. Temple? Yes sir. Oh, okay. Didn't they just play? Oh. No, they don't play until this week. That's their first game. Oh. Against Navy. Oh, good luck with that. Yes sir. Good luck. Don't tell my wife. Don't have my wife. My, my, my wife is Navy family right there, so she always roots for Navy. Um, see, go Navy. Go Navy. I don't play. Uh, and I don't think they play UCF. They do play UCF. So when I was playing, all my family and friends used to come to the game. So it's about 45 to 75 strong every time I came to play in Orlando. Clint, can you hear Freddie out there? Okay, good. I know you can hear me. <laughs> I really don't need a microphone. <laughs> so I've been told. But, uh, so, awesome. Um, any other sports? Did you play it when you were in high school? In high school, I ran track. I actually went viral. I have a viral video of me running the uh, 4 by one So, Wait a minute. You ran the 4x1? Yes, sir. I did. A big man like yourself. Yes, sir. That's awesome. Can I kind of embarrass you or ask that? Probably won't embarrass you. Can you run 40? 4, 8, 9. 4, 8, 9. Yes, sir. Coach Ben Bennett is outside. I know Coach Ben Bennett is outside. Coach, Did you Coach hear ben, that? Coach Bennett will tell you. Coach Bennett will tell you I'm fast. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. I don't think I could even run that. 4.89 and 40, that's, that's, I mean, I'm only 5'6", 180, and you are? I'm 6'3", 330. 6'3", 330. You can protect my house anytime. Anytime. Hey, before I get too far into it, I want to throw out there real quick. We did a, we did a promotion this past weekend over at another establishment down here in Buffalo, and we're promoting season ticket sales for the 2021 season. Now, we were thrown out there and we were doing it for the 2020 price. I just got confirmation from Nate Starling, the majority owner there of the Predators, and we're going to carry it on with this card. So if you want to get your season tickets for the 2021 season at the 2020 price, you need to call, you need to call Mary Beth at 386-624-3731. Call Mary Beth, she will hook you up with some great seats. We're starting as low as $98 all over all. That's sideline seats for $98. I mean, that's a deal. Even if you live in, up in the Philadelphia area, that's a great deal because our season starts, you know, approximately April 17th. And I say that because I just got somebody that I just named Clint, and he fixed our audio on the microphone so that everybody here can hear me. They can probably hear me two, three blocks down. Say the number again. Mary Beth Scott is 386 624 3731. Call Mary Beth. A lot of seats available. 
you're still at that point. Now, keep in mind, if you wait too long, you're going to be paying the 2021 prices. And with the pandemic that's going on, Amway Center charges us a little bit more, so we have to charge you a little bit more. And that's approximately $100 you know, for a season ticket. So, give us a call. Give Mary Beth a call right now, all right? Uh, she is standing by, just so you guys know. Now, back to you. Other sports, the track. Anything else? Did you play baseball, wrestling? I was a state champion in wrestling. Yeah? Yeah, in high school. That's... Man, you just surprised me. You surprised me. You really surprised me with the with the four forty. You know, because I, I ran high hurdles. So like five, five, six high hurdles. I did it. And that was, that was pretty good. And that was only in junior high school. But I went to Robbins with junior high school. And everybody ran. Oh look, you know what we got? They're coming early. What that is? You know what that is right there? No. That's called a predator shot. The different bars that we go to and the different bars that we do prep on for like any other events at, we like to have them come up with a uh, shot, you know, and call it a predator shot. This right here is a predator shot for the shot fire. All right, so we, we got to take it. Go Preds. That's pretty good. Very smooth, isn't it? It's like cool. Did you notice the color? Black and red? Yeah, red or color? <laughs> I'll tell you later what's in it. I'll tell you later what's in it because... Um, I taste, I, it tastes like the term. Don't give it away. But... Part of it. And you got you to gotta make it for the predator shot for the different bars that I go to. It's got to be black and red. That's the only requirement. And it's got to be where you don't need something to chase it down. It's got to be nice and sweet. All right? So, what, um, what, do, you, what do you do? What do you, where do you work at? What do you, what are you doing here in the off-season? In the off-season, I want to play a new company. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay. Yes. Des Johnson was on the show last week. And he is, uh, you know, Des is a personal trainer. Uh, Jaron Colston Green. Do you know Jaron? Yeah. He's a uh, wide receiver for the Preds back in 19. I'm going to get him on the show too. He does the same thing. He does the new movies. You know, uh, stories and drives a truck and all that kind of stuff. But uh, other than that, have you been going to the gym? And whatever. Is it just couches and, and refrigerators. <laughs> Just a little bit at a time. Uh, let me ask you this here. Uh, what other what are other professional football teams have you played for? Um, I play for the Arizona Rattlers. You play for the Rattlers in the AFL? Awesome. What year? Last year. So last year? Oh, I thought you were oh, in 2020? So yeah, or 2019. Earlier this year, you yeah, were with the Rattlers. I was with the Rattlers. Was the Philadelphia Soul still around? Yeah, they're still around. I'm just asking. I'm just asking. Did you play that? No. No. Okay. There was already. Uh, uh, right before the season was about to start, COVID came. And uh, they sent us all home. <laughs> yes. Yes. Uh, yes. <laughs> so, the Rattlers, the Predators, any other professional teams? No, that was it. Can I ask you? I uh, you see now. I normally ask women this question, but you're a man. How old are you? I'm 25 years old. 25 years old. So you got plenty of years to play. Yes. And, and I'm happy to hear that. Um, let me ask you, what excites you most about playing for the Orlando Predators? Well, basically coming out the tunnel, you know, you get ready to strap the chin, like, okay, you change out and hit somebody. Coming out the tunnel, it's, that's one of my questions on there, too. But describe that feeling coming out of the tunnel when they lower the lights, Claw's already out there, our mascot, if you don't know who Claw is, he is our mascot for the Orlando Predators for the last 20 some years, he's amazing. And the lights low down, and, and the, the, the welcome to the jungle plays, and they announce, you know, we're number 72, ready, boom. I mean, describe that feeling. Um, it's basically like um, tunnel vision, it's only you. Um, when that light's on, when you're running down, 
focused. I mean, you don't even hear it. You're just feeling the tap on your shoulder, like, get out there. Yeah, get out there. Get out there, and it's all. Yeah, so I'll usually run up. If I don't have my help, I'm running up, and I'm looking straight, just getting everybody together. But if I do that, I have a black heart. Okay, nobody sees it. It's like just running, trying to get myself together. What's, uh, so you have a black visor on people now. And I know, I mean, you're inside, so the sun's not going to bother you. Right. Why do you have a black visor? So I don't want to telegraph a little bit more, so the other opponents can't see what I'm doing. Okay. So I tend to look and like, glance around the area and see what I'm doing. And I don't like the opponents looking at my face while I'm doing it. So that, that, that mystery look. They can't see where you're looking, so it's like they got no, they got no clue where the place going. No, no, no. That's good. I, I, I didn't know that. I, I, you know, that's why I asked. Um, what, do you, what do you enjoy most about playing arena football? Because I know in college you played outside. All right, you played on a hundred yard field. You know, and what do you enjoy most about playing arena football? It's small, and I'm a very fast big guy, so close, close corners, and I get to show my ability from sideline to sideline, even though it's half of what it is on regular football field. So, the quickness of it, and, you know, everything I mean, you can if, if you guys are out there and you're just tuning in, and you've never saw or never watched a, an arena football game, it is so fast-paced. If it is 65 to 60 at the end of the game, that's a normal game. If it is 35 to 39 at the end of the game, that's a low-scoring game, right? That's a low-scoring game. And so, I mean, it's so fast-paced. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, I'm not even set. How wide? Do you know how wide the field is? Sir, I know it's 50 yards wide, 50 yards long, 28 yards, 28 yards wide. That's what I, that's what the 28 yards wide. Thank you, sir. So I told you, Ben. I'm just here to help. All right, Craig. Outside of sports, what do you like to do? Do you have any hobbies? Um, play video games. Uh, the video games. You're not that Call of Duty guy. Call of Duty. Yes, right. man. <laughs> Working on cars? Yeah. Oh, I don't that. I know how to put the key in, put the gas in. Now, back in the day, I could change your oil. Not anymore. Uh, yeah, I, don't, I let the professionals do that. That's why I buy a warranty. And as a matter of fact, I got to call that number back. They called me about my, my warranty was expired. So I got to get them a call back. Yeah. And, you know, you they call you? No. I don't, I don't it was a joke, Brady. <laughs> Yeah, they call me about a part that I don't have. Yeah. That's the sweetest. Um, your strengths. All right, you're an offensive lineman. You're I'm a defensive lineman. Defense. And a fullback. I'm sorry. Why am I thinking you're an offensive lineman at 72? Yeah, I was the starting fullback last uh, 2019, and I was uh, a defensive tackle. Wait a minute, is this Frank Booth? Why am I thinking, why do I have you listed as an offensive lineman? I do not. Well, the last game I had the three offensive lineman. That's the only game. Maybe that's what's stuck in my mind. Yeah. So you're a DL. You played with Rhino. You played with Rhino. Rhino's my best friend. So Rhino's your best friend. He's going to be coming into town. He's flying in right now. He is? Yeah. Oh, I've got a call. Yeah. He, he's on the flight right now. He's on the flight right now. Yeah. He, he's, he's the flight right now. Yeah. That's my boy. That's my boy. That's my guy. That's my guy. All right, we'll get, we're going to talk later on. Hush, hush. You're going to come over? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man. Oh, that's really, you know. Rhino's, Rhino's like, Rhino's like a sun house. Um, so, I know, I said, I said, Rhino's flying in today. I'm excited. Yep, he's. I haven't seen him since the season. That was the last time I saw him. That's what I got him. Yeah. I talked to him every other day. That's what I got him. We FaceTime, he, he calls us 
ungodly hours. FaceTime. You don't know how to call, you always FaceTime. Yeah, we FaceTime. <laughs> So let me ask you, Freddie, what strengths do you bring to the Orlando Pros? What's, what strengths do you bring as a season better now? What strengths do you bring? Versatility. I can play offensive line. I can play fullback. I can play defensive tackle. I can play the Mac if you want me to. I mean, I'm very athletic to do both. That's, you know what, when, when you told me now that, that that you were defensive line and, and blew my mind when I thought you were offensive line. Um, I, I can relate more to you now because I played defense when I was in school and most all of uh, the people that I've had on, minus, you know, a limited few have been defensive players. Um, I want to say hey, I want to say hi to actually my nephew up in Virginia. <laughs> His name is Thomas Furness, he's watching from Virginia. Um, what position does he play? I don't know, it's, it's under grandpa, it's under his grandpa's team. Uh, looking forward to the season, Barbara Sullivan. You know Barbara Sullivan? I don't either, but Barbara, welcome. Oh, that's your mom. Oh, okay, I'm sorry, that's Allie's mom. Allie Fairbanks worked with the Syracuse of Orlando Carters. Um, Doing what you do, you're working and home and football. How do you balance? How do you balance home work and football? So, um, like I said, I have a son, he's eight months, so I try to spend as much time with him as possible. So, after the work, sometimes I'm too tired to even try to do anything a little, but I make sure that I see at least see him before, you know, I take it down. And you brought your son with you tonight, didn't you? Yes, I did. We're gonna bring him up here in a little while. All right. It looks like he's eating. He's eating right now. Yeah, he's got that bottle fixated right there. We'll, we'll, we'll bring him up here in a little bit. Um, but congratulations on that. Is that your first? That's my first visit. Yeah. I seen all the pictures on Facebook. If you're not following Eddie Booth on on Facebook, you gotta check him out. The the pictures of his son and him are are freaking adorable. I, you know, I mean, they're just. I don't want to cuss. <laughs> <laughs> they, they are, they're, they're, they're so cute. I know, what, yeah, I know, why, why am I going to change? Well, they're the seven month old right there, you make me that shit up. Um, <laughs> so, pre-game rituals, do you have any pre-game rituals? Before a game, do you have something that you always do before every game? Uh, go in the mirror, I make sure that I get dressed in front of the mirror. Because at the end of the day, I know that it's only me going out there and putting up my best performance that I possibly can. So when I do get dressed, I get dressed in front of the mirror and I look that guy in the eye and tell him it's time to go. Are you, do you look at yourself like you're looking at me right now with that serious yeah. look? Yeah. He's looking at me like, yeah, that's how I do it. He's giving you that serious look. And I know, do you wear your gold teeth whenever you're playing? Yes, I do. Yes, yeah, it's right or something. Yeah, I don't wear them all the time, dude. Yeah. It's a Florida thing. It's, it's yeah. And in the boys from Virginia. And, and Ryan's from Virginia. Ryan's from Virginia, but he, he, got, he got a Florida swag for me. Oh, he's yeah. got a lot. <laughs> I wish he was watching right now, but, but Rhino doesn't, Rhino doesn't go on Facebook. <laughs> um, listen, just to get off track a little bit, but as far as during this quarantine, have you been binge watching any movies, any shows? A lot. <laughs> uh, um, enlighten us. Okay, so. Oh man, I love watching movies. I'm a big kid, so Disney Plus is my best friend. <laughs> so, what people don't know is The Lion King is my favorite movie. Wow. She didn't want to give him the middle name Simba, so. That's, yeah. Is his middle name Simba? No, but so she, she, has a so she, that rep she has a tattoo that represents it. So, remember when Rafiki drew him on the wall? Yeah. And he put the, the thing around that she has it. So, <laughs> I get that sounds name. What is your son's name and middle name? Okay, so his name is Jimit <laughs> Dimitri Jadarian Boothlord. Okay. Demetrius Jadarian Boothlord. Okay. Um, 
Booth what? Booth Lloyd. Booth Lloyd. So, but you got, I mean, on your back of your jersey, this is Booth Lloyd. Oh, it says Booth Lloyd. Booth Lloyd. Does it? On my back, it says Booth Lloyd, too. Do you have your jersey? Uh, I do. Did you keep it? Yes, I did. All right, Nate, so you heard that. That's another one that owes us for a jersey. No, they all. Because I got a white one. I'm just kidding. <laughs> if, if, if you got the black one, you would like it. <laughs> <laughs> Ready? What? I mean, you're 25 years old now. You, you, you've got a seven-month son. What advice would you give a 10-year-old Freddie Booth? What advice would you give a 10-year-old yourself? Uh, the same advice that I gave myself when I was 10 years old. My uh, my second grade teacher told me that I would be dead in jail. But when I graduated high school, I went and gave a, we got two diplomas. I dropped a little diploma on her desk until I graduated high school. So when I graduated college, I did the same thing. But I graduated with two degrees. So she got two of them. I have a master's too. So she she really had to feel the pain that I went through. She motivated me to want to do better. And this is what, what second grade teacher. No kidding. She should be a teacher. That she should be a motivational speaker or something. What, what is your degree in? Uh, I have a master's in criminal justice and a master's in psychology. Are you, are you going to start analyzing me? I'm already in. You already are. That's okay. Listen, my wife does it to me all the time, so I, I, I'm used to it, okay? Um, now, Milk Satan is, I call him Magic. That's his nickname, Magic. He is a long time, I, I, I'm going to say since the beginning, um, prep it. He's been a long time fan. He comes to all of our events, every single one. He's got a question for you. He wants to know what your favorite football movie is. Remember the Titans. Remember the Titans. Why? Why? Yeah. It shows that color doesn't matter. When you come together, good things can happen. That's true. You know what? In this day and time, right now, we are living in. I appreciate it. I appreciate that. Grew up in, I grew up in Pine Hills, and I had a fantastic football coach by the name of um, Ernie Swift, Coach Ernie Swift, and he played pro ball, and he was my junior high school football coach, and he instilled that in, into me, so it's like, I, I, I like to say I'm colorblind. I mean, I'm literally colorblind as far as it goes to color. <laughs> you know, it's like I gotta ask my wife, you know, does this match? Does this match? But as far as people goes, as far as people goes, I go on personality and I go on person and not the color. So I'm with you on that. I love you for that. Thank you. That's yeah, absolutely. Nice job. Yeah. Thank you really. Um. Does he have any question? Criminal justice, my my my. Uh, this is my grandnephew. Goes to the criminal justice school. Um, he's a very smart young man. He plays football up, up north too in Virginia. Football and other sports. I think he wrestles as well. Um, Magic uh, Magic Man is live at Fish on Fire. Of course you are, Magic. You're right there. <laughs> um, if they made it, oh, I want to tell you my favorite movie was Brian Tyler. My favorite football movie was Brian Tyler. You ever saw it? Yeah. But, but, it's it was either between Remember the Titans and Jerry Maguire. Oh, no! <laughs> if my brother Mike is watching right now, Jerry Maguire. I love that movie. Anytime I go, and, because he lives far away, and I like to watch TV when I go to sleep, we put on Jerry Maguire. <laughs> so that's a given. Um, but no, have you ever seen Brian's song? The movie Brian's song? With the, 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 really, it's the Gale Sanders song. Right, yeah, 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 yeah. Have you seen that there out there? Have you seen yeah. Brian's song? Yes. You know what I'm talking about? It's a great movie. Yeah. Uh, if you haven't seen it, watch, watch it. It's watch. amazing. It, I, I've got a box of tissues. You're going to cry. I don't care how big you are, how strong you are, you're going to cry. All right, you're going to cry because it's, it's an amazing movie. Um, Fred, if they made a movie about me, who would, uh, who would play you? Me? You? There you go. And don't say
say Denzel Washington because everybody goes, oh, why did Denzel play me? Is it going to be a football movie? It has to be. <laughs> well, I overcame a lot of obstacles. Um, definitely, uh, so he'd be the perfect guy to play. Yeah. He's, yeah, I, I, love, I, love, I love his movies. Uh, I like his acting. I mean, I'm not saying he's a great actor. I mean, he's an ex-football player, wrestler, who had the looks to go in the movies and made it big. Now he bought the XFL. Which uh, should be in 2022. 2022? Yeah, sure. Oh, so you're going gonna to go there? Yeah, that, that's sort of coming around. Mm -hmm. 2022? 2022. All right. All right. So Coach Will, I got it for the 2021 season because he's planning on going to the XFL in 2022. Just say it. I'm driving to the airport. And you're going to, yeah. I mean, <laughs> listen, we want nothing but the best for our players here to move up. We know, we know the NFL. It's a stepping stone. I came from right on the car. Yeah, absolutely. You know, absolutely. So, that being said, how would you describe your work? Just so, you know, if just in case The Rock is watching tonight, you know, do you smell what The Rock is cooking? Tell me about your work ethic. It depends on how you want to see it. I have a chip on my shoulder, and I'm pretty sure most people don't. Or well, if you do, you gotta sometimes eat that chip to get to where you gotta go. And I think a lot of people got a chip on their shoulder. Yeah, and uh, I got that chip. Okay. I feel like a lot of people underestimate what I can do in the football field. Gotcha. So I feel like I have to prove myself day in and day out. So my work ethic is, I wouldn't say no comparable, but I, I work very hard. Top notch. Uh, yeah. I got you. Coach, do you remember he, I don't know if you heard it earlier, he runs the 40 and 4.89. He couldn't fall off a cliff 40 yards before he got it. If you didn't hear this here, Coach Ben Bennett, Coach Ben Bennett said he couldn't fall off a cliff at 4.89. He's not Coach, good. you've seen me run. I'm faster than most of our. You, you got good wheels. Yeah. Very good wheels. You got good wheels. Yeah. All right. Let me tell you. He had to just admit it. No, he won't. He, he's not going to admit it, but he has to. Now. He ain't going to admit shit. <laughs> he ain't going to admit nothing like that. I'm faster than most of the my like grandma's faster than you, man. Just saying. <laughs> no, you can't arm wrestle right back into his shoulder, but his legs are good. I'm just saying. <laughs> so, so, Freddie, to date, what professional achievement are you most proud of? Professional. Because I know for a fact, you know, speaking with you, that your son is your, is your, your, your prized possession. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Professional achievement. What's your, what's your, 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 that you're, the most professional achievement that you're most proud of? I'm like, it was professional. professional. Uh, football. Football. You know, I mean, or, or whatever. I mean, I mean, if you went, I, I, I knew, like, I had, I had Herky Walls on, and Herky Walls beat uh, Carl Lewis in the 40 yard match. Carl Lewis is, you know, a multi gold medal. That, that, that's, a, that's a hell of an achievement. I mean, and do you have a, a professional achievement that you're most proud of? Well, not really, because I feel like I haven't reached my full potential yet. I got you. No, yeah, you're still young. Exactly. Yeah, I got you. You know, and, and I'm not going to pressure you on that at all. Um, I do want to say right now, thank you. I'm going to recognize Fish on Fire, and thank you guys for being a sponsor for the Orlando Predators in the 2020-2021 season. I want to thank Morgan, Joe, Heather behind the bar. I mean, take care of them because they are taking care of you. Uh, if you get up and walk somewhere, please put your mask on. We want, to keep these, we want to keep these fine folks open. If you're sitting down at a table or at the bar, take your mask off, enjoy yourself. But please, if you get up and you go anywhere else, put your mask on and let's keep them open because they're amazing. Um, yeah. Freddie Blue. What were you like in high school? Because right now you're kind of, you're kind of low key, you're kind of quiet. What's, what's, your, what's your girl's name? Brittany 
Is Brittany? 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 Is he quiet at home? No, he's not. He's not. Unless he's gaming. Unless he's gaming, then he's really quiet. What were you like in high school, Freddie? Uh, I was Freddie. <laughs> no, but I was, I was like Freddy. that. Bro. I was Freddie. I was very well known. Cool kid. Um, still quiet, but I've got to do something that I love to do. I came from my show. Yeah. Once everybody got to know me, I was very much talkative and loud and doing what I have to do. Bucks like Rhino. Yeah, the Rhino. Is, you're like a Rhino. He's all quiet. He's real quiet. You get no Rhino when you get around around you know, you're ready. And, so that's why I, I, I have no doubt you guys are friends. Um, Carolyn, Carolyn Noy, right there. Carolyn, thank you for tuning in again. Carolyn is uh, the mother of our kicker, Nick Chikowski. You know Nick. She wants to know what your favorite food is. Food, uh, mac and cheese. Oh. I can eat it. Anything, anything mixed in there with it? Like, I like that. I like uh, black and chicken with mac and cheese. Baked beans or candy ends? Mm -hmm. yeah. Alright. I don't know about the candy ends, but you like baked beans. Like, my wife wouldn't like it, but I like that. I would like that. No. So, when you were growing up, who did you look up to as a role model? See, now, if you would have been here a little bit earlier, if there would have been an accident on 528, we would have went over these real questions that I got here. Like, as a role model, you can look up to any role model. It doesn't matter. Did you look up to anybody as a role model when you were growing up? Uh, Warren Sapp. Warren Sapp? Yeah. So, okay. That's what I wore in college. All through Little League and after college, I wore number 99. I'm trying to get this on here so I can see. Because I don't want 
wanna see me, I mean, I wanna see these comments on here. Um, away from football, tell us a little about Freddie Booth here. Tell us something that people wouldn't normally know about you. This is to the fans to get to know you. Tell us something about you that we, we wouldn't expect. <laughs> Come on. Um, no, no, no. I mean, let me tell you something. Um, you know, I actually can. You can sing? I can sing, yes, I can. So I sing most of the time that I'm not doing up. Like if I'm walking around the house cleaning or something, I sing straight. Alright, because I gotta tell you something. Two weeks ago, I had to be in the I put him on the spot. Oh, he said, Hey Kelly, whatever. Um, I gotta tell you uh, right now, we have actually both owners of the Orlando Predators here tonight. We have Mr. Nathan Starling Jr. And we have a representative for the Chico family, Mr. Roger Dico, in the house. We got Coach Ben Bennett in the house as well. I mean, we uh, we're we're pulling in the big dogs tonight, but Fred. Saturday over at Fish on Fire or at uh, Harry Buffalo, yeah. and I thank everybody. I thank us. I want to thank, 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 thank. And I forgot to thank you for coming and supporting. I want to thank you for coming and supporting us. So, that was the team photographer. I really appreciate you being there. I gotta keep getting my picture. Yeah. Good luck with that. Carol right. <laughs> Oaks says, "Don't put him on the spot. Don't put him on the spot." Milton, Mad Milton wants to know, what's your favorite NFL team? Well, I play with a couple guys, so like, I really don't have my favorite football team, but if some of my teammates from college is playing, that's what I'm looking for. Alright, so you're a Brown So either you're going to be, you're either going to be a Miami fan, a Tampa fan, or a Cowboy fan, because all you're going to be so you're on his Cowboy fans. Again, though, it's just like, uh, Coach of the Carolina Panthers. Your old coach is the coach of the Panthers? Yeah. Awesome. They're called the Temple Panthers now. So it's like seven or eight of them on the active roster. The Tampa. That's the Temple. The Temple. Temple. <coughs> gotcha. I don't have one. How get Nate up to? Huh? He's right there. Hey. Nikki, you need to ask your question. I don't know. Oh, oh, I know what it is. I know what it is. Um, I, think it, I don't know if you can see it. Come on over here. Come on, Miss I got just watch your step right there. Last week, it was Nate's birthday, so we got you a birthday cake. So we're going to sing happy birthday to Nate. <laughs> <laughs> Some of you didn't hear that. Last All right, everyone, let's sing happy birthday. birthday. Hey. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Nate. Happy birthday to you. Scaring the hell out of me. 
Yeah. You ain't got no hair to worry about. Oh. <laughs> yeah. And that's why I wear a hat because Nate. <laughs> I did one show without a hat on, and Nate goes, "Oh, you gotta wear a hat because that glare is just blinding." Oh, whatever. But happy birthday, Nate. What is it now? Twenty-nine and a half. Yeah. That's what it is. Yeah. <laughs> Most favorite place you've ever traveled to and why? Most favorite place I've ever traveled to. Ever traveled to, yeah. And I'm not talking professional wise, I'm just talking about you. You in general, what's the most favorite place you've ever traveled to? Japan. Oh, shoot. Yeah, Japan? Japan. That's awesome. Where'd you go there for? Uh, we went for a, a college retreat, so basically we went out there for, it was basically all the student athletes. We got picked and we all went over there and stayed a week. And this was really cool. Okay. Uh, we went over there to the uh, same group. And just like looking and seeing different, different things and see how they work. It's crazy. Morgan. Morgan. Yes. And so is Freddie. Okay. And then the next one would be 
and because I used to work out there. And if you go, go to the you wrote space battle before, right? You do it. No? Well, space battle is inside and it's all the time. You guys know what I'm talking about, space battle. Well, when I worked there, I was young. I was 17, 18 years old. So I was pretty crazy. We would go on space battle and I always make sure you put your seatbelt on. Well, we would take the seatbelt off and go through space now without a seatbelt on. And that's just crazy. That's the scariest one I ever did. You can drive space now without a seatbelt because you can fly up and down. You gotta hold on to the scariest one. That, you know, that's, that's pretty scary. So, Freddie, what is your. Do you have a dream job? What's your dream job? Work a great stuff to the park. Basically, uh, I really have to open up my own like, psychology center. And basically, study the, the troubled kids and like, the kids that's raised in single homes. And I want to actually analyze them and actually see what actually goes on in their head. Okay. Good for you, but you're doing great work. That's, that, yeah, that's great. Um, hey, Nate, Carolyn Walk says happy birthday. Nate says thank you. <laughs> um, I suppose they, uh, yeah, it's already there. We must be missing something here because it's not giving me all the updated. All the updated. We don't mess around with it. Let me ask you a question here and then, and then while I mess with this. What? If you woke up, if you woke up tomorrow and you had a new ability, alright, what would it be? And what? A new ability. If you woke up tomorrow and you had a new ability, that's a deep question. And it doesn't mean like a uh, superpower, but it's another question. It's just, uh, you, I can do something. What would it be?
came on a, a two-day tryout, and it only took me one day to make the team. So I came to practice, and I was like, oh, well, you made the team, and then somebody else got cut. And I got out here, sat right here. Yeah, well, who got cut, but I know somebody got cut, and I know well, you made the team. Listen, that 2019 season, a lot of people got cut. Exactly. So, you know. But that being said, I'm going to break this up right now. Shit going to be different in the 2021 season in the NAL with the Orlando Predators. Hey, folks, welcome. Thanks for coming in. Uh, excuse my French. But this is a Facebook Live show, so we are Facebook Live. Um, things are going to be a lot different in the 2021 season. we got the new ownership. we got the new head coach. We've got so much positivity. Positivity? Positivity going on. It's, we're bringing the predators of old back. The majority of Nate Starling Jr. is going to bring the party back to Orlando, to the Orlando Predators, to you, the fans. So we are, you know, all this trading players every other week, getting new players in, trading them out. That's going to stop. I mean, we're going to bring you the best talent that's out there, and we're going to keep them so they can gel as a team and bring us a championship. Am I right? I mean, that's what we want. That's the key. That's the primary goal, is to bring a championship back to Orlando. And, uh, I mean, yeah. that being said, call Mary Beth for season tickets. 386-24-3731. Get your 2021 season tickets on the 2020 price. You can get it for as low as $98, lower bowl, sidelines for $98. I mean, you can't beat that. You can't beat that. You can't beat that. I mean, you know this. I mean, how many times have you seen a player fly over the over over the dashboard into the stands? Too many. Too many times. You can be right there in the in the action. You gotta be there. Alright? That's your plug here. Alright? If I give you $50,000 right now, if I give you $50,000, which I don't have, but if I give you $50,000, what business would you start? What would you do? I call him up. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All you? Yeah. Um, yeah, I'll go get my car. My dad's in the kitchen, so he does paint body work. Uh, 
fans be able to buy players' jerseys in 2021? Mr. Nate Starling, here's a question for Nate. Will fans be able to buy player jerseys in 2021? Yes. There you go. The answer is yes. Boy, that was easy, wasn't it? Baby jerseys, too. <laughs> yeah, we haven't worked out with these. What's your name? One piece? Okay. Oh, you know, I don't know if I'm working out right now. We're working out with Phenom. We're working out right now with Phenom. We're working out right now with Phenom. That player jerseys and kids jerseys will be available. Time frame? Trying to go back old school. Why don't we start up? Okay. Hey, Your name. Okay. <laughs> and saying, you talking to yourself, Nate? Okay, so it's Phenom is where we're going to get the jerseys from also. So there you go, girl, all right? Woo-hoo! She says, woo-hoo! So through all this here, she says, woo-hoo! Awesome. Oh, we're going back old school. I'm going to have some of them old school jerseys as well. New jerseys? Boy, I'm going to put your ass on the spot. I don't care if it's your birthday. So we're going to get some old school jerseys. Booyah. I like it. Now, you may not be able to, uh, won't be honest, because I'm probably going to get fired in the next couple of days because I'm putting Nate on the spot so much. <laughs> but you heard it here first, all right? And I'm getting the glare. I'm getting the glare. She said she wants to buy one and have you for your son. Oh, that, that is. That'll be tough. Uh, next month, Chikowski's mom, Carolyn. She wants to buy one and have her player sign. That's not going to be a problem. Um, but you know what? You, it would be great if you'd come down here to Fish on Fire one Monday night on Bread Talk and you can get a one by one sign them as they're, as they're on the show. Because I am going to do, um, I'm going to try and do uh, an anniversary show to where everybody that's been on the show before come on in so you can get, say, like Barry Wagner, King of Herbie Walls, you can get the commissioner, I mean, you can get Nick Chikowski, your son, to come on. I mean, you know, sign it. And I mean, I've had quite a few people, quite a few people come on here and uh, get them all to sign it. And it'd be, it'd be a fun night. It'd definitely be a fun night. Uh, speak up, Pat. Can't hear you on Facebook. Dickie, oh my God, crazy man. So I got him so loud on here. Nikki Owens is a long time, a long time Predator fan. Thank you so much, Nikki, for joining in. Can you hear Freddy? That's what I want to Can you hear Freddy? Um, I'm going to go through some questions here. They're like fireball questions. Um, can we ask you, what's your favorite food, mac and cheese? Right? What's your favorite movie? Movie, movie. The Lion King. Oh, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, on the, uh, there was something I was going to say about there. I had something I lost it. Who's your favorite actor? My favorite actor is Kevin Hart. Who? Kevin Hart. Oh, Kevin Hart? Yeah. Not your favorite comedian. Who's your favorite comedian? <laughs> I didn't know about that. Snow ski or water ski? Snow ski or water ski? Uh, water ski. Uh, the snow is pretty for like two days. Yeah, forget about it. Forget about it. Hot dogs and hamburgers. Hamburgers. Winery or a brewery? Brewery. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. Unless it's a date, then you gotta take it. Yeah, a date, then you gotta take the one. Sweet or salty? Sweet or salty? Sweet. Okay. Coke or Pepsi? Coke or Pepsi? Coke. Should be, if you're sweet, then it should be Pepsi. Pepsi's sweet. I was raised on Coke, so I can't make it. Me too, and that's a different story. <laughs> Bonus or traditional? Traditional. All right. So all drums. What's your favorite color? Green. Well, that's my favorite liquor. Well, that's a drink. Uh, 
Surf and turf. Surf and turf? Yeah, fish and fish, fish and steak. Steak. Okay. How do you like the steak? Medium. Medium. Well, it's not flavor. You gotta go like medium. Medium is rare. You sound like Carlos Cruz. You gotta taste the blood. I love it. The championship. He made us eat all medium steaks. The blood's running off, and he literally made us eat it. Yeah. 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 Did you do it? Oh my god. Of course. Um. Dogs are cats. Dogs. Michael holds a kill. He breeds pit bull puppies.
when you play from the Orlando Predators, all right, we don't have to dance team members. We know what we call Orlando Predators. Right? I'll show you pictures. Very classy, very classy. I was actually at an event over here at Buffalo. That's why I asked this past Saturday when I had two of our beautiful friends and families there, you know, handing out different swag. And he's gonna be on the Orlando Predator soon. All right. So, hey, listen. Thank you so much for coming. I appreciate it. And the best part I got out of this is his name is Ronnie. Ronnie. So. Yeah, I know, right? What's that? Oh, it's the German. What part of the was he with? Is it you? We talked about my shirt. So, um, so that's about your shirt. Yeah, so in college, we did a, a basically a workout with the Finley Fire Department. So we basically did what they had to do in training for a lot of other stuff. And it was actually fun. We, up, we woke up at 5 o'clock in the morning and we jogged about a mile and a half. And then to our workplace where we had to do all the work and we just up at. And then basically jogged all the way back. It was crazy. But it was fun. So you didn't do it in 4.8 minutes? No, it was more like two hours. <laughs> Um, I got two questions, two more questions, really, and, and we'll throw it out to anybody else out here in the audience. So listen, hey, listen, you have this group of table right here. Mary Lou, if you guys have any questions, I'm going to wrap it up here in just a couple minutes. I got a couple questions here, and if you guys got any questions, I'm going to roll with it. But I want to know, you already I already asked you about running out of the field, describe that feeling, right? So that is so beautiful. Here's my, here's my favorite question that I ask everybody. And I want you to think about this for a second, right? If you could pick any song to play every time you walked into a room, what would that song be? If you pick a song, any song out there, every time you walked into a room that you play, Baby, come back. <laughs> you ain't right. This is baby, come back. That's a pretty hard. No, no, no. It's not hard, but I have a, a big personality, so it's like I listen to everything. So it's like I don't know. And and I'm gonna I'm gonna cut you right there. I'm gonna say, do not play. Welcome to the jungle. That was off stage. That is Eye of the Tiger, because every Friday that I played in high school, they played after when we switched periods, it played on the intercom. I was never going to listen to the song again. It's Eye of the Tiger. I hate it. Damn, 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 damn. Yeah. Eye of the Tiger. Rocky Steps, yeah. we did it every year uh, for a workout. So we'll, uh, we'll get up, we'll run to the Rocky Steps, run up and down them a couple times, we'll do exercises in front of them, and then we'll all take a picture in front of them. So my senior, my senior picture that of the team is on the Rocky Steps. So I got a big picture of us on the Rocky Steps. That's not bad. Oh. Let's see, Mary Lil Bianco wants to know memorable Halloween costume. Well, this year will be my most memorable Halloween costume. We're dressing up as the 
Incredibles. Oh. Is that right? Yeah. yeah. Do you have the outfits? Yeah, we're holding. That's awesome. That's awesome. I like that. Hey, Pat. Question. If you could have one car in the world, what would it be and why? So the question is... One car in the world? And why? <laughs> well, I'm just so, one. Well, just one car. Just one? <laughs> it'd be, it'd, I'm, my dream car well, yeah. is a Tesla oh. Sportster. Okay. So you, you can't go wrong with a Tesla. Right. But if, a car that I would want would probably be a, a 73 Impala convertible. Oh. You wouldn't want, but then I would want. You would want, okay. Not a 72 Gremlin? Like a real car. Like an orange, like a burnt orange. No, I want a 72 Gremlin. I wouldn't be caught dead in that little car. You'd be a one seater for him. I would be in both those seats. Come on. Let me see. I got a 72 Gremlin. Uh, because we're in a time right now with 
very sensitive. But I'll tell you, because I think it's funny, and I, I'm, I'm colorblind, and, you know, but you'll get a kick out of it. I'll show you a picture of it. Um, shout out, do you have any shout outs? Who do you want to shout out to tonight? That little guy right here. Tell him. I love you, son. <laughs> Bring it to me. Yeah, bring it. Bring that young man up here. Everybody wants to see your son. Uh, Hold on, we're drying him up. I'm sorry. Somebody got a hose on him and it cleaned him up because he had some cake. So apparently he had some Nate's birthday cake. So we're cleaning him up right now. But mom's bringing him up here. What's that? I think daddy's going to be up all night. No, daddy's going to be up all night. He's sick right there. Look at this. Oh, look at this young man. How you doing? No, you're just looking at me. You look just like your dad. You're giving me that same cold stare, too. You're going to be a defensive lineman as well? Give us some. Tell us what you think.